When it comes to the Second Amendment, the gun community is always playing defense. Very, very rarely are we fighting to gain something. Usually we're always forced into a position of trying to defend. And naturally, this makes sense because the text of the Second Amendment literally says, shall not be infringed. So there's nothing to try to gain beyond shall not be infringed. Unfortunately, the gun control lobby has been chipping away at the shall not infringe part of the Second Amendment for some time now. So we're left scrambling to try to restore what we've lost while at the same time trying not to lose more. As a result, we're always playing defense. Well, in this case, here is an opportunity to play offense. The gun control lobby is not stupid. They attack the Second Amendment from all angles politically, socially, culturally, and in this case, financially. What a lot of people don't realize is that big banks, insurance companies, payment processors, big tech, and others have been trying to financially suffocate the gun industry for a long time now. And they do this by denying access to the essential services that they provide. If I'm a gun company or a gun store, I need a way to process payments. But if credit card companies, PayPal, Square, and others like it refuse to do business with gun companies, there's no way for them to do business. Take Bank of America, for example. Bank of America won't do any business with any company that makes or sells AR-15s. Citigroup won't offer loans or store branded credit cards to retailers that sell guns to anyone 18 to 20 years old even though anyone from 18 to 20 years old can legally purchase a long gun. By and large, these corporations are coming together forming Voltron against the Second Amendment by intentionally discriminating against firearm-related businesses, not because they're breaking laws or doing anything nefarious. It's purely for political reasons, and it's messed up. They're literally saying, oh, you support the Second Amendment? Well, we don't, and because you do, we're gonna discriminate against you and make it virtually impossible to do business. Clearly, no city would use taxpayer funds to do business with companies that openly discriminate against people based on race, sex, and religion. So why would they possibly choose to do business with companies openly trying to destroy our Second Amendment rights? Unfortunately, a lot of city officials have the same hatred for the Second Amendment. So they do business with these types of companies. The good thing is in my home state of Texas, Two legislators, Senator Charles Schwartner and Representative Giovanni Capriglione, are taking a stand against requiring citizens to fund corporate gun control with Senate Bill 19. And Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick is providing the weight of his full support behind this bill. What their bill says is that if you are a corporation that discriminates against a firearm related business or trade group, you will not be getting any funding from the citizens of this great state. You cannot enter into contracts with any government, period. You will not force Texans to pay for efforts to destroy their essential right to keep and bear arms. There are senators in other states like Rick Branton in Missouri trying to do the same thing for the good people there, along with Representative Blake Miguez from Louisiana. And all these corporations would have to do is to simply stop trying to destroy the Second Amendment with woke politics and get back to doing what they do best, make money and they'll be free to contract with government all they want. It's literally that easy. So if you live in Texas, call your state senator and representative. Tell them to support a strong Senate Bill 19. Tell them you don't wanna be forced to fund companies that are destroying your right to arms. Tell them to stop the discrimination against the gun industry that is so essential to our ability to exercise our rights in the first place. If you live in other states like Missouri or Louisiana, Call your elected officials there and tell them to do what Texas is doing to put the taxpayer funded discrimination to an end. I'm sure the YouTube algorithm is gonna do a phenomenal job of suppressing this message. So please share this video with as many people as you can so we can beat the algorithm and get our two-way message out to the masses. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment and hit the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you wanna keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply, I am the militia, I lost all my guns in a boating accident, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirt, 
click the link next to my head or the link in the description section or if you're watching this on a mobile device tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description